Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and today we're going to film a quick little uh, LED install on my GMC Sierra. So what we're looking at is two of the three flush mount LED bolt lights that I ordered from Osnium LED. These are one watt black aluminum housing LEDs, and essentially they're amber. So the idea behind what I'm doing here is I bought three of them, so we're obviously going for that Raptor look in the grill. Um, so just kind of a quick overview of what you get on these things and I'm amazed at how cheap these were and kind of the quality of feel to them So they're pretty heavy-duty for what they are uh, it, But again, it's a, a anodized aluminum housing. So it's black uh, you have the option of black or silver If you get the silver you also have the option when you buy the 11 millimeter size So these come in 11 or 16 in the 11 millimeter size You can get stainless steel which is silver and you can get that with a 3 watt LED in my case, I wanted the black housing, and they only sell that with the one watt and the 11 millimeter size. And I think in all sizes, they only sell the black with the one watt LED. Anyways, so we got an amber LED in here. There's no lens. You can order with a lens as well. But based on what the website said is if you don't get the lens, you can basically see the LED from 180 degrees. So anyway, what you get here is the LED bolt. So it's essentially a threaded body, and then you have two nuts on there. Uh, and you have the option to take the first nut and put it all the way up against the rim here, or you could back them both off and just use one nut to affix the LED bolt, whatever material you're going to be uh, attaching it to, and then just screw in the nut behind it to tighten everything up, and then use the second one as kind of a tightening nut. So in my application, what I'm going to do is back both nuts off, and I want to have this little rim here mount up against my grill. So if you remember from my other videos, I have the Grillcraft MX Series Mesh Grill. It's in black. So again, black light, and what we're going to do is put one right about here in the middle, and then we're going to go about seven and a half, eight inches out to each side and put another one um, right up against there. I mean, these things basically disappear. So the light itself is a little small, uh, but it, it packs a punch for one watt. Um, uh, we're going to wire these bad boys up to my clearance lights. So I already have somewhat of a little light control panel here. So if you look down here, I have a light box that has my light bars um, and the DRL circuit of my OZ pods. They're all pulling their signal out of this box. I'm not T-tapped into any of the signal throughout the truck. I pulled all the signals into this box, so my brights and my DRL signal, I could pull it all out of here. So in essence, what I'm going to do is hook up my little Raptor lights here to the DRL circuit, which is the same circuit that that center LED is hooked up to in my pods. So let's show you what the clearance lights will look like. So there is my OZ pod. So these are lights that turn on. Whenever my DRL circuit turns on, this light turns on. So it's basically just kind of an amber clearance. Obviously the corners turn on because you got your uh, DRL. And there is the little one watt LED. Like I said, it packs a punch. So if I turn off my light here, It matches real well with my LED pot up top. So really the biggest issue on this one or the biggest hurdle is drilling the hole to make it fit inside this grill. My concern is I'm drilling through metal mesh and if you use just a standard drill bit, you're gonna catch on that metal eventually. So I'm gonna try a few different options to see what the easiest way to do this is. So I'm gonna put one light there, one light on each side. I'm gonna run the wires up in this little channel here. It's gonna run across, it'll drop down and then it'll tie into my box. All right, so that actually was a lot easier than I thought. So I got my three holes drilled. I ended up going about eight and three quarter inches out. One, it puts the lights just outside my emblem, so it kind of lines up nicely with that, but also it lines up with this little hood crease here. So uh, just for your own information, I think it's about seven inches is what the Raptor uses. Um, so if you try to stay within there, it gives you that same effect. So drilled out all three holes. What I ended up using was a step bit on my drill, and I ended up drilling these holes out to 7 sixteenths of an inch, which was close to 11 millimeters. So it was nice to leave the grill on the truck because it gave me the ability to really hold down on the drill because right when you start that hole, the drill will want to grab it. But after you get going um, and go slow, you know, you, you don't want to rip the grill out, um, but it allowed, you to, it allowed me to control the drill bit a hell of a lot more with it up like this versus it being on the ground or on a table. So 
Now that I got everything drilled out, the hard part's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the grill off so then I can remove both these light bars here and then get everything wired up and fixed down in there. Um, hopefully you can get in there and see. But there's basically, you got the two diodes right inside the center here. So you, you do need to make sure that those are at least level so you get the same effect. I don't think it'll make too big of a difference if they're not perfectly level, but you know, for aesthetics, you're obviously gonna want all the LEDs to line up across here. Uh, and, and what I mean by LEDs is inside here, you got the diodes, I don't know if you see that, but you just wanna make sure that they're lined up, which is why I'm gonna take the grill completely off. All right, so I just finished up wiring. So we got the back of the lights up in there, if you can see them, so there's one there, one way over to the side, and one here. So basically I took the wires right out of the light and tucked them up. On my grill, there is a rubber gasket between this inner grill piece and then the outer grill. So I was able to pull the wires up through there. So there's the center light, the passenger side light, and then the driver's side light. Once I got the wires up over there, I wrapped them in loom, connected them, and then right here is where I terminated all the wires and then butt connected them into two wires that's gonna run into that little light control panel inside my truck. So on the GMC, I have plenty of room to run it down this way on the grill, and then it'll effectively come down this way and then tuck through the behind the headlight underneath this brace here, and then it'll tie in, and I'll just use where I had my other light bars to enter the box, and then I'll tap into this circuit from my DRL, and then I'll grab a ground right here, and then we're gonna be good to go. All right, so we got the grill back on. The wire for those grill lights comes up over the top. Like I said, there's plenty of room here. I was able to find some extra wire loom. I salvaged it off those light bars that I took off. Drop the wire from the grill behind the headlight, past the windshield washer fluid, and then it went into my little light relay box here. So we got everything tied in. So let's turn on the DRL. Let it go in here and flip it on the DRL mode. Just my amber marker light should come on. So I got my A pillar coming on. I got my side clearance light on the headlight. And look at that. We got our grill lights on. So like I said, for a one watt, they pack a punch. So camera makes it look a little yellow. However, it does blend very well. So let's turn off the top lights too. So for one watt LEDs, these things pack a punch. I am very happy with how it turned out. I think the spacing looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the panels on and that is it. Quick rundown of what I actually use here. So again, I'll have the part list down in the, um, down in the description below, but basically it's the Osnium flush mount LED and this is part number 2234. These also come in 16 millimeter, but again, it's the same wattage. It's just a bigger spread on the LED. So maybe that would have looked nice as well. I think this looks pretty damn good. Uh, but you can get these in amber and there's a whole bunch of other colors you can get but for obvious reasons i went with amber here they do have a switchback version so ones that are white and then if it gets a second signal it'll go amber so basically you could take those and put them on a motorcycle they could be white lights when you're driving down the road and then when you turn your turn signal on it could trigger the amber light inside there so it's a pretty cool feature uh, but again i'll have the link down there and for i think it's five bucks a light uh, not a bad deal. I'm very happy with it. Turned out good. It kind of livens up this grill a little bit. Uh, the grill's a little bit boring, so I added the emblem onto it. That wasn't enough, so I think the lights are a nice touch. So if I turn those off, my favorite part of these lights versus old ones, and I'll show you the old ones that I had on my Ford, is how flush they sit. So let me turn on. So you literally have no protrusion on them. So they sit nice and tight up against the grill itself. The other version, let's go over my bench here. The other version that people have been using are these Maxima lights, but these sit out quite a bit. And in my application, I wanted that metal flush mount. This rubber, I would have had to get that hole perfectly centered and perfectly rounded for these to work. So I have these, I could always switch them, but these are gigantic, they stick out quite a bit. These barely stick out and you just saw how bright they are. I believe these are three watts, these are one watt, so these are a little bit brighter. These have three LEDs and a deflector in the middle, so they actually spread the light out, whereas these are 180 degrees. These have the deflector, obviously, to spread it to, I think, 180 degrees. So I'm very happy with it. Anyways, if you've got any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments. I'll happily answer them. 
Uh, but I'll leave the the link to these Osmium lights as well as the 16 millimeter ones if you're interested in that one. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Take care.